What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to Relevant versus Irrelevant Weapons. So, like this, where you instantly delete a Titan in three seconds, or this, where you fire for five seconds and it looks like you're throwing rocks, right? So, you're gonna see on the new Titan series a lot of different setups in this video compilation. It's a big gameplay uh, cut together um, with Cyclone, with a Squall, with uh, uh, the normal machine guns Retaliator, and also you're gonna see the new Sonic shotguns that you see here. Um, we're gonna start with this because at first I show you how it can be when Pixonic wants you to use a weapon. When they tell you, look, this weapon is good, you must want this weapon now. So I mean, I, you know this timing thing, so I start firing early and then I come around the corner and once the full fire rate hits, rips, and he's gone. And we're gonna do this many times now and uh, later at the end of the video I'm gonna show you my best cr or one of the best situations that I had with these sonic weapons uh, When I was using them on this new serious robot, right? Uh, but uh, in the in between you get these different uh, Irrelevant weapons, right? And it's so crazy to see how how irrelevant they actually are look now the fire rate kicks in look at his health Look at the health drop you know how long I had to fight with uh, fire with cyclones or cataclysm Adam to to do this much damage uh, forever because he actually heals more than I can deal damage uh, and it's crazy but for now let's just uh, drop this dude and and, uh, and show you the performance till the end from these crazy sonic shotguns uh, if we want to call them shotguns because they have a spread um, yeah and then we'll see the irrelevant weapons and it's really sad to see how crazy irrelevant this is I mean this the damage you just seen here is only one of the uh, Sonic shotguns that we've used until the end on him. Also, you'll find very often that this new serious robot, even though it looks like he's relatively shallow or flat on the ground, he actually somehow, look at his health, look at the health, I'm the only one dealing damage to him. Look how fast he's going down. I mean the, uh, the, the uh, angler robot was shooting him, but not really this much damage. So um, yeah, it was like 98% um, of this damage came from this Titan here and it's so crazy. But yeah, so um, it, it looks like this Titan is really shallow on the ground. Somehow, though, all his weapons always manage to fire over the over cover. Even though it technically they should hit the cover, you still somehow fire over it. I'll show you this later. It's also an another hidden buff Pixonic managed to implement here um, into this weapon. That shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't be here, but it somehow is there. The weapons go over cover even though they should hit the cover in front of you and you shouldn't be able to shoot over it. Um, the match unfortunately ends right here, so we were not able to brawl him out of existence, but that would have happened now in the next, let's say, 10 to 15 seconds. Alright, so now we're swapping into Cyclones. Uh, and you see, um, yeah, those are Titan weapons. And in this video here, it will become, or in this match, it becomes very clear how ridiculous and weak they are. Um, I mean, we're doing a little bit of damage here, right? But those are Titan weapons. And they do pretty much the damage you would expect from a normal medium weapon in the game now. And this is just ridiculous how irrelevant they are. Uh, you'll see it even more so in a few seconds when I fire at the Ao Chun. Um, you have here a 600 meters range in theory, uh, but uh, the weapon does pretty much nothing at 600 meters range. It is completely worthless. It's literally like throwing like rocks at the enemy uh, when you shoot at max range, because you're not going to deal damage to them. Um, when you get very close, you can start to deal a bit of damage, but even then the damage will suck. And uh, remember, we're talking about a weapon that has a lock-on mechanic. I said this plenty of times and I said it here again, or say it here again. The lock-on mechanic is completely outdated and it needs to be scrapped instantly. It needs to exit the game because the only weapons affected by it are those who are already terrible. Uh, and uh, all the new and crazy and powerful weapons, they don't even bother with lock-on mechanics anymore. So this whole feature is completely outdated. And uh, look how long it takes me to start establish a lock-on to finally, look at this. Okay, he comes out of stealth now. One, two, three, three and a half seconds. And then look at the terrible damage. Dude, this is medium weapon damage output. It's not a head titan weapon, but these things are maxed. Those are max Titan weapons. The guy walks around the corner. He's laughing at me now. He's like, <laughs> look, he did nothing. I wasn't suppressed at the time. I was doing full damage with these weapons. And it's just sad to see how incredibly irrelevant they are. You take, you need forever to deal damage because you need to have this established lock on. Um, and uh, you need to fight, fight forever and shoot and have line of sight. 
right? You can't shoot over cover or whatever. You need to line of sight all the time and deal full damage so you can finally um, kill somebody. And then, and then you have this incredibly long reload of 10 seconds for whatever reason. Uh, and... Uh, and the lock on and even if you have all of you have reloaded you are locked on your damage output is still going to be so minimal it's crazy this weapon is supposed to get really powerful when you get close it's supposed to be really te technically description wise and you know gameplay mechanic balancing wise this weapon should become one of the more powerful weapons in close range combat. Maybe not as powerful as a shotgun, but it shouldn't be far behind because it really is incredibly weak at range and its trait is that it gets really powerful at short range. But it's not. I mean, dude, I, I have zero chance at all. Like, I'm just not, it's like playing, I, I'm f playing with toys as a weapon instead of real weapons there. So, we're now here using the same robot uh, with retaliators, okay? The Titan has now the standard machine guns equipped. And believe it or not, I think the standard machine guns are actually better than Cyclone and Cataclysm, which is already really ridiculous. But despite my full load, I wasn't even able, with three fully loaded Titan weapons fully focused on this one Mars, I was not able to kill a single Mars robot. I, I, with three t heavy fully loaded Titan weapons. It seems ridiculous. And of course you can argue and say, yeah, those are starting weapons, Manny. They're not supposed to be as good. And maybe you're right. But are they supposed to be worthless or really like so so unattractive that you don't even want to try them? Shouldn't it be so that you can make them work if you just, if you really, if you try it, if you uh, find a creative version, robot, like a powerful robot such as this one, and uh, and then and then use them well should, with, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. But these weapons... I mean, look, I'm still, I'm still in this battle with this Mars robot, and I can't even kill him because he actually kills himself now and spawns a Titan then. So at first, it will look like we're dealing some damage to the Titan because I spawned the uh, up, uh, the Orion battleship on him too. So we're, we're doing damage with the Orion battleship and our fully loaded three Titan weapons. But he's got the sonic shotguns and the Vajra weapon, which, by the way, is the best of all, in my opinion. Uh, and... Um, and yeah, 10 seconds later, I can finally start tickling him again a little bit. Uh, and yeah, this is how it looks like when I do that. Orion battleship is ready again, so now it will look like as we are doing damage. It's because the Orion that's very good against Titans is helping. Um, but I've already lost a weapon. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not very good. Things are not looking very good right now. Um, <clears throat> on the contrary, it looks pretty bad. So he's gonna kill my teammate now. He's gonna he's fully healed 100%. He's back to 100% with the new serious robot because that's what we have now in the game. Every Titan must be able to heal. This one in particular heals himself to 100% even with gray HP, which is just a joke. Uh, and uh, and all, all all things that are new now, they need to be able to heal themselves. They need to be able to fly. They have reflector. They have EMP abilities or or some lassos that they can throw uh, that deal a whole bunch of damage instantly and slow you down. Whatever. I mean, come the heck on, man. Everything that's new must be so artificially overkill. It, it it's just it's just boring at this point, man. Seriously. But yeah, uh, I, I'm not even going to say anything anymore because I've said it many times. So. Yeah, let's deal some real damage. Oh, no, wait a minute. We're still in a 10-second long reload for these powerful retaliators. Yeah, these weapons are so powerful, they need a 10-second reload to be balanced. Of course they do. Yes, 10 seconds for that god-awful performance. Yeah, you know, if they had 3-second reload, they would still be awful because the fact that they require line of sight while they fire for the constant full time and do nothing <laughs> still sucks. So, yeah, clearly um, a weapon you don't want to test. The only reason, by the way, we're still in the game is we're running this crazy overpowered serious robot ourselves. Alright, let's swap back onto Canyon and uh, use uh, the Cyclones. Now we're shooting at higher range. You see we're tickling the guy a little bit. Maybe we're changing the color on uh, uh, paint on his robot, making it a little darker by uh, burning a little bit of the, uh, the, the, the paint outside. Here, this is a normal robot I'm shooting. Dude, I'm doing nothing. It's like, th those are three Titan weapons, man. Titan weapons, fully maxed. It's nothing. And this is not max range. This is, this is short range. These weapons can fire 600 meters and he was at 200. I mean, that, that was a range at which we are supposed to do really well with these weapons. 
And uh, you can't tell me that Cyclones and Cataclysms are only starting weapons. Uh, oh, they're not supposed to be good. They're starting weapons. Ah, 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 ah. That's not true, because these weapons are purple. Those are purple weapons, and they shouldn't really be far behind when it comes uh, against the, the golden legendary ones. Um, but there is, it's like, they, they, they are like five times better than these. It really is. Like, you, qu you equip Vajra on, the, on your robot, that one Vajra is like equipping five Cyclones. I'm not even joking, it's this different. It, unbelievable. How can you screw up balancing this much? But all the answer is, unfortunately, it's not a screw-up, it's intended. These weapons are supposed to be no longer interesting. There was a time when they were, and now they're not. Now you're supposed to be interested in the new stuff. And, uh, and, and they reinforce and, imp you know, reinforce this, this narrative or this, this idea um, by making these other weapons so drastically ineffective and unattractive that you, zip you don't even want to, you, you just don't want them. Look at this. Would you want to run this on your Titan? These worthless pieces of junk with a four second lock on tr uh, tragedy that they have that d does nothing even when you're locked on and if you're even when you're close. And even if you do spend your full 15 seconds unloading on him, he's just gonna laugh at you. Activate his ability five times in the meantime. Dude, it's crazy. By the way, if you enjoy these videos, right? I mean, um, I am complaining, but I want to try and show the difference and how irrelevant these weapons are and I, I also want to maybe move uh, move something with these uh, complaints uh, to make aware of the crazy in irrelevance they have because those weapons were designed they were made they were they were you know there's a lot of work has been put into these weapons and they're in the game and look how cool they look okay look how freaking awesome they look they look so freaking cool, I want to fire with them, I want to use them, and I want to have fun with them. But the p way they perform makes me want to just never look at them again. Which is so sad considering how amazing they were designed to look and everything, you know? And that's my point of this video, kind of. Um, and also to a little complain about the fact that things that are new always must go overkill. And I am really sick of this. By the way, here's the moment I wanted to show you in the beginning, when I said you're gonna see it later, how we shoot over cover, even though cl clearly these weapons clearly shouldn't be able to go over this cover. They should go into the wall, but they shoot through the wall. And that is, in my opinion, an artificial way to buff a new content by letting it somehow magically curve its shots over cover so that you can hide behind cover, shoot over it, where others can not shoot back at you. Um, yeah, it might just be a bug and uh, maybe I see overpowered uh, uh, stuff everywhere around the corner now because I'm so sensitive to this now but um, clearly it, it shouldn't be like this it's not correct okay um, and yeah so if you like the gameplay montage the, because obviously I've put many hours in to get all this different gameplay footage uh, ready to make the comparison um, if you like it and you enjoy it yeah then consider leaving a like down below and a comment as well Tell me what you think, and perhaps subscribe to the channel, because we're really close to 400,000, and perhaps maybe we even have 400,000 by the time this is released, but of course half a million is a really big milestone for me too. So now, look, we're unloading this full thing. We're literally in face-hugging distance, 60 meters. He's in reload. I'm giving it everything these freaking Max Titan weapons that are supposed to be really powerful in this condition are. And look at this. Dude. Look at the, it. It almost looks like he isn't even losing health. And look how my health goes down. Okay, take a look at my health now. Take a look at my health now. Two, one, let's go. Raps. That's more robots for you. That's relevant versus irrelevant. Yeah, she, he screwed my lock on now because he had a Titan stealth, and now I have to spend another three and a half second cloaking. I saved you from this tragedy, but yeah. So here, we're, we're, we're giving a little back massage to this kid here while he's busy. I'm gonna throw the turret out in his face. I'm gonna uh, launch an Orion. And, uh, and with Orion, Battleship, and those three Cyclones together, I'm actually gonna be able to win against that powerful kid Titan. Can you believe it, guys? Wow. And that kid was running Retaliator and Vengeance. He, was, he hadn't put a different Titan in. He had starting gear, starting equipment on that kid. Including the kit itself because he didn't spend time changing something um, And uh, yeah, I really had to try hard to win <laughs> What the heck? Um, yeah, so 
I took three shots, I'm half killed because he was running the most powerful shotguns in the game currently, the Vajra. Uh, remember, we still see in a few seconds uh, 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 a str basically a flashback to uh, me using the most powerful weapon, or not the most powerful, but these sonic shotguns again. Just as a comparison, I slap it back on and I'm going to show you what these sonic weapons do. If uh, it's the same player, it's the same skill level that I we're using here, and look at the best I can do is get my ass handed to me. Look, that's the best I can do. I'm trying to dodge, I'm really making him miss a few shots, and I'm healing up, I'm giving it everything. Look, again, he missed three shots now, because every time he fires, I make a quick direction change. But, dude, there's no chance, no chance, no matter how what the skill level is, no matter what, it's just, you just lose. You're like a little toy for him to play with your cannon fodder for the meta content when you run these things So now we're running uh, the glaive um, Which uh, is also a new weapon 500 meters range good damage output with the third shot the other two shots are not doing very well, but um, Overall due to the range and the instant quick damage delivery this weapon is really effective and it can be you can run this you can really run this very well um, in in the game uh, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed that but um, that's a little tricky thing. I did um, I was fighting uh, Look, I know this guy is coming. So what I'm doing. I throw my turret over here. I Threw my turret over here. I'm doing this right now Because I know he's gonna teleport back there and once he does Guess what my turret is gonna do with him? <laughs> Look, he's getting hit there from the turret now because I knew he's gonna jump back there and now he's getting whooped by the turret That was a funny move and then I ended it with a lance. Oh wait, it's lance. Glaive is the lar the large one and lance is the smaller one Ah, Gotcha, okay, so again here we're shooting over cover which we clearly shouldn't be able to shoot over At least on the left weapon. Oh, although here you could argue Maybe it's close enough and maybe you should make it on this one. Nah, maybe you should make it here but on the previous one I showed you, it was a little weird, right? Mm. <clears throat> we have, of course, full HP because we're playing the Serious Titan. Um, and that thing is quite serious on how fast it restores its HP. Oh man, this, this, this joke will get old pretty quickly. Are you serious? I can already see the thumbnails, man. Serious Titan displayed and then the text, are you serious? Maybe even with uh, uh, with Hogwarts Professor Snape, like half transcendence disappearing on the right corner, something like this. <laughs> I, yeah, I can uh, imagine a lot of things. I'm a very creative mind. I think I like to think that, anyways. So um, let's get in there and uh, get those guys out of the way. They had their ability, and you see that third shot kills, but the other two are eh, not really hurting that much. Uh, but eventually that third shot comes and when that is and poof Alrighty now This guy all right, I'm gonna retreat back here and teleport behind safety because I had two aethers on me And that really wasn't going very Very well for me. Excuse me mm. And this guy um, He uh, thankfully I think he's reloading. No, 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 no. He wasn't reloading. He actually was fully loaded but he missed his shots. He was like spreading his shots all over the place. So, and now here, as promised, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the video with uh, the Sonic shotguns going completely nut, 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 nut job mode. <laughs> uh, this is really crazy. I mean, this, uh, what they do is, is absolutely unbelievable. Look, this is a full Titan. Okay, a full Titan. You've seen it in the intro and full fire right now. Raps, and he's completely snacked. And it wasn't just any Titan. This was an Aether Titan. They, those who have some weird hidden resistance and uh, usually are somehow not taking as much damage as other Titans do, uh, for some weird reason, possibly because they're new, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so um, that thing just goes down in three seconds at this point. It's crazy. So I'm starting to accelerate the firepower here and bye, dude. And the same goes for this guy, but he's in the air right now because, well, he's a new Titan and not only can he heal all the time, but of course he can fly forever and be invincible during that time. So, reloaded, we're starting to unload, high fire rate starts now, and that's the moment when he actually goes down. Very nice. Okay, so another one bites the dust. Uh, and here comes a... Mm, Daymater with a very long lasting shield. I got him slowed though with a battleship now. 
and I'm getting inside his shield. However, somehow I can't hit him, so I go a little away from him and with the high fire rate drop him quickly. Nice. No, now they, they will have, I think, one more Aether Titan soon that will spawn in. Um, I, I feel like I remember there was one more Aether Titan, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Here, I accelerated the fire rate early. Now, I'm not sure if you saw this. While, while I couldn't shoot him, I already accelerated the fire rate so that once he comes out of that stealth or whatever it was, I could blast him quickly. All right. So, full fire rate enabled and... Yeah, that was 70% damage to him in three seconds. But now we have a really long reload and the match ends. So yeah, ladies and gents, that's it. Tell me what you think. And um, that was a pretty fun video to make this comparison for me. I like to do these things. Uh, but it's uh, it's unfortunately very evident that every any weapon that's not the newest uh, content, it's, it's, it's not just not as good. It's so... It's purposely made so incredibly bad and terrible that you just never even want to try them. They're this unattractive and they're, and that's by, by in, on purpose. And it's really sad, Pixonic. I mean, seriously, you've spent time making those and just because you think you can't make any, not as much money with them, they need to be this useless. Come on, man. Come on. But yeah, so for now, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Catch you in the next videos and bye-bye.